Okay, so the last video that we did, well, it was a video or two ago, I can't remember now, but basically we tried to put an entire conveyor belt all the way to town from South Hope. The downside to that is obviously lag, so that won't be tried again until 2.0 comes out. Then that's something I can sit here and dawdle about with for a, a good portion of my time. So what I've, what I've actually done is I've completely reset my entire build on creative mode. I haven't saved anything, I'm basically building a new. So the thing I need is that, and um, yeah, I need the truck and the magic wand. And then we're going to take a trip to Bridgeport. I've got an idea. Now, this idea is something that we that people in the community have done before. We've never sort of, it's never had a massive problem before. But it's a way of teleporting items from one side to another with very little problems. Hopefully, it won't cause a problem with this. So let me just get to the shop, and then we'll go from there. So here we are at the shop. I'm going to go and get all the stuff I need. I'll see you over at the plot. It's going to be good. Last but not least, we need to go to the power shop. Reason why is because, well, I need a reactor, I need some cables, and I need a way of automating my repair function. So, definitely need to head there. It's just so I'm building an entire build. If this works, this would be almost like an infinite loop of money. Pretty much infinite. Okay, that's everything I need for this build. So basically, the reason why I've done this is because everything here I should use. Now, the reason why I've put it all on the floor is because obviously we're in creation mode, we can use the magic wand. And the magic wand lets me go copy, paste. So if I have a key set up and I know where everything is, then if I, if I need like a reactor, I'll go to the reactor, click on the button and put the reactor out. If I need a, a, a bit of cable, I'll go click and put it out. And you know, so that's the, that's the reason why I build a key. That's pretty much what I use this area for now. But at the end of the day, it's all good. That just means I'm sort of sorted. Now all I gotta do is I've gotta build the build which is going to take a little bit of time. All right, so what has been 12 seconds for you, or probably less, has been a good couple of hours for me because of testing. Uh, this is the teleportation device. Now, as you all know, the, there was a way of basically minimizing the lag by using sorters instead of conveyor belts because you can go from one place to another place within a split second. So I figured that me and Redfield out on the di on the di bleh, 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 out on the Hydroneer Discord, we had a little bit of a natter during my last video and to where we are today. And basically, the idea was to use the sorter instead of using a conveyor belt to minimise the lag. Which I thought, hey, girl, that's all right. So we did. Well, I did in fairness because obviously multiplayer isn't a thing yet. So I did this. So I built this little thing. By the way, new creation mode, which means all the stuff I had before gone. Completely disappeared. All good. Nothing. No more. Skibbity bop bop. I'm a scat man. Which means everything I've already done has disappeared. And now I'm on a brand new build, brand new everything. And I sort of figured, okay, so I'm going to try this and I'm going to try this sort of thing. And so I did. I built an entire line of sorters going all the way to the thing. Now, if this works out properly, then what should happen is that stuff should start here and be at the shop within a couple of seconds. The downside was trying to figure out how to stop the lag because each one of these you can't turn the water off. So the problem with doing it through a sorter is that one of them has to be highlighted and that one will instantly sort out. So I decided to put shards up this end. The reason why is because obviously my reactor's up here as well which is powering everything and so on. So I need my shards as close to that as possible. So I put my shards up this end. Now down the other end, over by the shop, is all the other stuff. So cloudium, metal, you know, gold and so on and so forth. And that is where that all is, right? But the problem with using this as a teleportation device is it's a bit like the tube in um, Satisfactory. If you put lots of them together, it speeds up and it will fly out the other end. Uh, to put this into perspective, this is what happens when you turn everything on. So that's firing now, and that's all good. So let's uh, let's get down to where there would be a problem if I hadn't try if I haven't sorted this out. So what I did was I put a window on the bottom of each one uh, on the on the end of every single corner. This stops the shooting because this happens otherwise, and it comes out really really random and really really fast. And it's something you don't really want to combat against because those bits can go anywhere, like these bits here that just flung off in the middle of nowhere come from it just being shot out so they could end they hit this and then they just go anywhere which sucks
So, on every single corner, I've put a window which stops the hitbox of each one at every corner. It's probably the best way to do this. Basically, it hits the window and then drops and then hits the conveyor belt and goes through each corner. Hence why I've done this on every corner. Now, if you hadn't have done this, then you'd just have bits everywhere. And that's what I did have whilst I was building this. And I was like, oh no, it sucks. So this is how I did it. I, I basically managed to fool the hitbox by putting windows in, which stops the problems. And like I said, every single one of these has been hit, so it's the shard. So the, it, it, a shard won't go through the first one, but it, just in case it did. So it's all good. So as you can see, there's a lot of them. There is a lot of sorters here. This is a lot of copy and pasting using that poxy magic wand. Trust me, it's a lot of copy and pasting. I better change this, actually. There you go, midday. Okay, so then we get down to our sorting plant. Yay, sorting plant. And now, because it's right here, right next to the jewelers, I can just sit here, leave my machines going, and just push this button every now and then, and push that button every now and then. And look, look, here you go. Oh. Apparently I haven't got any cloutium yet. Is that cloutium? Yeah, it's cloutium. I still haven't got any cloutium. Fantastic. But I do have gold, and I do have iron. Which is all good. So now I can just basically sit here and just make this work forever. And all I'd have to do is just buy tool bags because this isn't lagging. Now the next part is what I want to do. Well, 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 well. Part three. Well, say part three. It's however many parts I've put together into this video just to go, oh yeah, we've done it. All right. So what we've done was we expanded out the uh, the one round drill to ten round drills, so this should be making seventy pieces of dirt every couple of seconds, which is going to be fun. Yeah, just about. But what we're going to do now is we're going to test the lag. So normally a build like this would start. You wouldn't so much as lag out my computer, but I would notice a few frame drops, a little bit of shadowing, that sort of thing. And all I need to do now is, because all the round drills are turned on and they're activated by this, so I just go click and they all turn on at the same time. So now, here we go. As you can see, everything is rumbling and rolling. Oh, yes. And that's spitting 10 at a time, so that's gone up to 70. And here we go. So there we go, that is now that is now punching so much out, okay? So that's 70 every couple of seconds, so that's probably around 140 to 200 and something going through the, uh, the sort at any one time. I can see they're all coming out here. So yeah, lag-wise, this isn't too bad. And the reason why is because they're not spending all their time out on a conveyor belt, they're literally just stopping. That's interesting. I need a wand quick. That's a bit more controlled, that's fine. There you go. And now that's just a constant flow. Not too shabby. The lag's dealable. It's working. The bits don't spend too much time on the old conveyor belt. I think I just saw a bit of dirt. Oh, there's dirt going into the system. How is the dirt going into that system? Oh, okay, now I get why there's probably a bit of dirt going through. So, if you start mashing at, like, pace like this is, um, like occasionally one or two bits of dirt fly off of here onto the conveyor belt, or on the floor. This is absolutely hammering it though, this is amazing. This is so impressive. Well there you go. So, if you want to build this system in 1.7, this is ideal. But don't try the full conveyor belt, because it won't work until 2.0. At the moment, this is probably the best system you're going to get for full automation and get it as close to the shop as possible. I mean, in all honesty, I mean, if you didn't really give a damn at the fact that you were trying to smelt everything right next to the shop and be happy, then you could just funnel all this into a pan, which is okay. You could just put it on the table and then just leave it. The downside to that is over time, lag will build up because it's all bits and pieces that are actually inside of the pan that will just keep getting well problems but the best part about this is everything that's going through the system minus the odd bit of dirt that's might find its way on the conveyor belt is that the reason why it's not lagging so much is because everything is smelting it's becoming part of the game instead of just being a single piece that has to keep logging up onto the game 
which basically means you can run this for as long as you want. As long as you've got toolboxes, and like I said, in creative mode you just go copy with the magic wand and then stick another five in, and it's all good. Just set up this simple belt, well this simple logic cable, don't forget about the flip logic belt, literally this is, this is the only thing I ever really build now. So auto repair, boom, and done. And that's it, that's that's all I build now. That, like, logic wise, that's it. Don't need anything else. Power, the power is where I, I, I like power. It's all good. But yeah, there you go. Full testing everything. And I've run this for eight minutes and my computer is still, it's still awesome. Still having, still, still can work properly, still doing everything awesome. And it's all good. So, hopefully you guys find this interesting instead of the other video, which was don't do this. Do this instead, because if you do this, it will work. And at the end of the day, that's what you want to do. You want to make this work, and you want to basically make this as good as possible. And, um, yeah, this took the longest, putting the pipes in. Because you have to put all the pipes in to connect to everything so it stops dripping. If you don't keep it dripping, then you're going to put a, a, a... Yeah, it just makes a lot of noise, and it lags it up as well. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This has been Hyper Steel. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, and notification button below for all other updates. I'll be back here with a brand new video live stream or whatever else I do on this channel. Until then, I want to say thank you very much for kicking by. Peace out. Have fun. Enjoy everything you guys do. Well, fist bump to you. Bye-bye for now.